What's going on everyone and welcome back to another King James video. Now today we are introducing a new series where we take you guys on the streets unfiltered. Now today we are at the beautiful mission and the mission is known to have popping colors, lots of vibrant energy. The other time that I've been out here trying to shoot street photography, I've only shot black and white. And so what better way to introduce this new series by shooting some color. I brought my trusted Leica M2 and we're gonna shoot Portra 400 through it. Now the Leica M2 is going to be different for me because we're going to be metering by eye today. Mostly going to be Sunny 16. It's Portra 400 but what I'm going to do is I'm going to overexpose this by one stop. And I'm going to shoot this bad boy today at 200 ISO. So everything is going to be shot at 1 250th of a second. And hopefully that's going to allow us to get some of that more pastel color out of it. Go, let's reset this back to zero. Wise, when you're shooting like Sunny 16, you're going to be doing a lot of F16 and then allowed like F56 around that area. Um, and like I said, with the beautiful colors of Porsche 400 exposed at 200, we're going to get a really, really versatile palette that pretty much will capture any situation. busier parts of the city, especially when there's a lot of energy around, you know, your instincts are to move fast, move with the people. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, um, but I'm like walking really, really slow. Hey, so look over here. Look at me real quick. One, two, three. Yeah. All right, you guys. Now, if you heard me correctly, in the beginning of the video, I said that this was kind of like a new series, which it is, but at the same time, it's not. Let me explain. Now, this new series that I was talking about is something called Street Photography Unwired or whatever type of photography that I'm doing. And one of the things that I want to do in 2019 is branch out into different genres of photography, such as portraiture. I'm going to try to do more landscape, more architecture. So it's going to be photography unwired. But what I want to do with this series is at the end of each video, I want to add a segment in which I talk about the photos that I took in the video. Give you guys a little bit of context to why I took these photos, maybe how I took these photos and what went through my mind. Now that doesn't mean I'm not going to be doing any more camera reviews or film reviews or thrifting stuff like that. I'm still going to be doing that stuff but this is just a new series that I want to add on to the channel. So bam let's start off with the very first segment and we're going to be talking about three photos from the mission and the funny thing is that day that I was taking photos out there there weren't too many interesting things to take photos of and I found a lot of joy taking photos of subjects that weren't actually breathing. Also I'm sorry if I sound a little scratchy I've been up for 12 hours and I have no sleep yet but anyways we were taking photos with the Leica M2 along with the Voigtlander 35 2.5 color scope bar and Portra 400 which I overexposed one stop to 200 ISO now the three photos that I'm looking at are all shot through a window and the first one that I'm looking at here is this picture of a red chair and also the table
tabletop and it's shot through this dirty looking window. Part of the reason why I was attracted to this scene is simply because of the difference in colors. I mean, you have red, you have that lime green tablecloth, but you also have this really deep green on the wall. To kind of distract it even more, you have some type of graffiti on the very front of the window there. And the truth behind this photo is that I was kind of running out of things to photograph on the street. Sometimes you're just not feeling the vibe or maybe, you know, the energy out there isn't exactly what you expected. And so you turn to other things to take photos of. So I saw this image and I pulled the camera up to my face, thought about it, and I took the photo. The second image here, again, is taken through a window. And there was this old mission type of like vinyl thing on front of the window seal, but it casted a shadow onto this brick wall. And along next to it, there were two black chairs. And it kind of made for this really cool, interesting composition. Uh, again, you know, it, it stood out to me and to my eye. And when you're out there, you know, and you're shooting, you can't find anything to take photos of, find what looks good to you and just shoot it. And last but not least, we have the pink tablecloth photo. And with this composition, again, it caught my eye through the window and I wanted to capture this scene, but also to not include too much of its surrounding elements. And there's a difficulty when you shoot a 35 mil lens, you know, everything gets really wide and you start to capture things that you really don't want to, especially, you know, when you want to isolate certain things. And the composition that I visualized in my head would have looked way better with like something like a 50 mil or maybe even an 85 mil, just isolating the uh, tablecloth along with the napkin there the glass the salt shakers and stuff like that uh, but with the 35 mil lens what I did was I went in the vertical and I tried to make sure I positioned my lens enough to where I cut off that chair in the background the booth but I also cut off the window sill at the very front because truth be told that window sill was pretty dirty and it would have looked really ugly in contrast so so I'm satisfied with how it turned out you know just because I was shooting with a 35 mil lens but there was definitely a lot of room that I could have improved with this photo uh, and I just wished you know at this time, I was maybe shooting like a 50 mil. Now, before we wrap up the video, I wanna talk about what happened to me while I was out there shooting on the street, because I feel like it's important to know that when you go out there to shoot street photography or any photography of that sort, you're not always gonna be able to capture amazing images. And on that day, I was really disappointed with how it turned out. I didn't really capture any images that I could have used for my projects, you know, any street photography images that I feel, you know, comfortable with or that I feel would do really good and it kind of turned into this mixed emotion to where I, I got out there and I started shooting and I wasn't feeling it and you kind of just go on this downward slope and I want to ask you guys as well do you guys ever feel that way when you're out shooting you know you start taking photos and it doesn't go exactly how you want it to and you kind of get this discouraged feeling inside I don't know if that's just me it might be you as well but comment down below and let me know what you guys think but the important thing is that I got out there with my camera and I shot some photos you know you miss every shot that you don't take and when you're not out there shooting photos you're not getting better and this is only just a learning experience for me this is just another session for practice not every session that I'm gonna have with my camera is gonna produce amazing images and that's something that I have to accept myself that I can't go out there every time and make good images but what that means moving forward is that when I do have sessions where you know I feel good and I make really good photos it's ten times better you know it tastes a lot more sweeter so keep that into consideration folks and also let me know what you guys think and I'm sorry the video has dragged all the way along to this point but again, I really appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it for the very first episode. And as always, like a gang, like a gang, nah, minota gang. <laughs>